Hi everyone, it's me, Lisa, and today I'm going to be bringing you a short tutorial, video tutorial, on um, making decorative circles for your layouts. Um, the decorative circles can be used as frames and photo mats, and this is a really, really easy tutorial that um, I discovered while I was just playing with my punches. So, what you're going to need is circle of either cardstock and heavy duty works better than any other thinner paper um, and you're going to need your Martha Stewart punch around the page but the corner punch so I've got quite a few sets and as long as it's the corner punch from the set this is what you're going to use and I've got lots and lots of designs and each design will give you a very different looking circle so let's get started today I'm going to use this one and the reason why I'm going to use this one is because one of the layouts that I did for reveal day for our November kit um, I made a circle using this punch so what you're going to do is look at the back side of the punch so that you can see where you're punching and you're just going to bring it into your circle and just where the top of your design is on your punch you're going to line that up with the edge of your circle so start anywhere and just punch and then you're going to bring your paper over um, and it depends on how close you want your design to me I like this one to be pretty close so you're going to punch again make sure that that tip of your punch is lined up with the edge of your circle and you're just going to keep going around until those little pesky papers get in the way until you figure you've gone all the way around the page. I can't see what I'm doing when they get in the way. This tutorial will probably air on reveal day for Swirly Doos, which is on October 31st. It's always the last day of the month. And I try to do a tutorial that will um, coordinate with one of the techniques that we would be using on the month's kits. Uh, as those of you who know me, I love to do flowers, and I get my inspiration everywhere. Um, sometimes I'll pick a flower out of a page, a decorative paper, and I'll try to figure out a way how to duplicate that. Um, that flower so that it coordinates with the papers. Sometimes the big companies like Prima and Petaloo, um, they come out with new flowers and sometimes I don't have enough or I want a little bit of a different variation. Sometimes I just want a different color that the company doesn't carry and sometimes they're simple enough to do and duplicate so I do that but I love making flowers. And My grandmother was a seamstress um, so she taught me how to do a lot of fabric flowers when I was growing up. Now the last one, well, let's see, this one might work. The last one might cut off the design, but um, it's not too, too bad. Uh, sometimes if you don't get close enough, you'll see these little hanging pieces of paper. Just take your scissors, and if it's small enough, you can just, just take it right off. And these, I got close enough. But you can take your scissors and just snip them right off like that. So here is, this one's beautiful. I love this one. Here is your, could be a photo mat. Um, you can do them smaller and make them into journaling pieces. Um, pretty, pretty doilies. That's what they are. And I'll show you a couple that I've done with the different designs. This one was done, this one's a little smaller, and this one was done with the vine leaf. So that's this one by Martha Stewart. They're all Martha Stewart corner punches. I guess any corner punch would do. Um, and I got pretty close. Now you, you can see in between there's like a little triangle. If you don't want that triangle, you can always just take your scissors and just cut out the triangle. And it'll give you a, 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 a uniform circular shape with your pattern. Um, but you may, like, you may like those little triangles but it's just a little different 
If you went all the way around, you would just see a perfect circle. Here's another one. This is a deco scallop. This one's really pretty. And this is another one. I don't remember the name of this one, but I think it's the lattice arch. That one's really pretty. And you can always hit it with some glimmer mist to give it some color. Or you can use your Tim Holtz um, Distress Ink to give it some color. We just discovered Moon Mist, which is absolutely fabulous. You can paint them with some Lumiere paint or acrylic paint. And what I did with this was took my X-Acto knife and I cut out an inner circle. Cut out a circle so that it just left me the ring of design. And I'll show you what I did with that. This is the layout I did using that same punch and there's the ring. I just cut out the inner circle and it gave me a pretty pretty mat for my picture. And I think I did this one with some glimmer mist and I hit the edges with some um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink and dried marigold. So I hope you have fun with your corner punches and I'll see you next time during the next video tutorial.